black, see? I'm changing myself from look or dark race people. Or, I want to see. Why did you get kicked off last night? I'm so sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know, I know. Oh, you were, you were totally one of my favorites this season. How could that happen? Oh, boo. <laughs> I know, when I'm my home, be drawing and fight with my friends. <laughs> no, I'm kidding you. <laughs> um, okay, so let's, let, let's get to talking here. Um, so after watching last night's episode, did you feel... Okay. Did, I know. Did you feel that Beyonce was the wrong choice for you? Uh, I think it's uh, a wrong choice for me. Um, okay, maybe I I feel that I have a lot to bring more in this competition. Mm-hmm. And the people are waiting for this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and it's so funny. I think it's the first elimination that a lot of people feel sad and mad with the elimination day. Yeah. Oh my, oh my God. It's, I'm, I'm so excited. I can understand a lot of people who support me and say, oh my God, can, I can't believe it. And you can enter to my Facebook page or my Twitter yeah. and I have a lot of messages from the people. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm grateful. Oh well, yeah, I mean, you were definitely one of the fan favorites this season for sure. So I think your, I think your departure was a little bit too early. Um, okay, so when you, when you came into the workroom on that first day, who did you feel was who did you feel was your biggest competition? Believe it or not, I think that maybe my next competition is gonna be Fifi. Mm-hmm. Because um, I hear about Fifi and a lot of people say, Oh my god, that girl's gonna do it, gonna make a local drag race or, and I don't know and I search on YouTube a uh, Fifi videos and, and the first day that I entered to the war room I know maybe Fifi can be here and when I saw Fifi I, I think oh my god that girl's gonna be in the competition. Yeah. You knew Madame Laqueer before the show? Yeah, I knew Madame Laqueer before the show. Oh yeah, I'm very cool. And did you guys, um, were you guys friendly before or did you, were you friends before the show? Because there was a little bit of, I mean, when you didn't want to choose her that one week, <laughs> there was a little bit of... Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I know, you're a Roxy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love it. We, we, I know what I'm from Puerto Rico. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, it's very cool because at my first competition on Puerto Rico, Madame's are uh, being one of the judges. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that is so funny. And, and it's so hard. I, I don't know that Madame's going to, to, to be a Rupert Drag Race with me, yeah. but we're not close friends, but I know Madame from Rupert. So you worked with, you worked with Latrice Royale during the, um, during the wrestling challenge. How was that? How was, because Latrice is coming, I mean, I feel like she was kind of the mother of the show. So how is it working with her? I think that working on Latrice, the wrestling challenge, it was amazing. Mm-hmm. I think that, a lot of people think that this challenge is going to be the best challenge of Ripple Drag Race Season 4 because, you know, it's a lot of energy, a lot of, a lot, you know, it's so funny. Mm-hmm. And I think that working, working with, with, with the trees is amazing. That girl is, is so cool and this character of the the Beast, you know, is perfect. <laughs> yeah, it's it's for Latrice. Latrice and Killer Kenya. When you slapped Fifi with that powder puff, that was the funniest thing I've seen. So far. <laughs> What was your What was your favorite challenge this season? Excellent. Well, that's great for you. Well, we can't wait to see you. Um, hopefully, you'll make it up to Canada soon. I'm a party girl.